In this video, I want to show you the clip section of the control IT software in combination with the clip control to play, stop, cue or trigger your player. So let's have a first look at the clip section. Here you can um, read out the clips which are stored on your solid state drive that is inserted in your HyperDeck Studio connected via LAN to the PC or Mac uh, or Linux that um, you have running the software on. So I'm choosing Zuspieler 1, that is my um, HyperDeck Studio Deck 1, and I can read out the player. So it's the program asked me if I really want to do this because the data of the previous installed solid state is saved. So this will be overwritten if I say yes. But I want to, so I'm saying yes. Um, now I'm sorting this by player. And you see there are five clips on the SSD drive. The names are read out and the in, out and end points. Well, um, normally you would just have in and out point at our software it's in an endpoint and you got an additional out point that is just before the real end of the clip. We use this because we have a digital audio mixer um, that is um, connected via a MIDI control interface with our DDTEC board and um, as you can see there's a difference of 10 frames and 10 frames before the clip ends we fade in our talents fader by MIDI automatically. You can adjust this difference with um, the options in your extra. Uh, here you can see it's 10 frames actually, but you can um, bring it to a second or uh, one frame. So you have to define different things which happen on different points of the clip. Uh, let me start easily. You got the play and the stop button. They are right here. And this macro happens if you press play. So I'm searching for this, it's Zuspieler 1 play. So this is here. Uh, and if you press play, this happens. The HyperDeck 1 is played and there is uh, um, a macro group is deactivated, which is Mats cute. You have the stop, pressing stop means the HyperDeck is brought to stop. And again, the Mats cute is deactivated like it's now. You got the Q. So um, this is right here. So if you, if you press Q, this will happen. The HyperDeck 1 is queued and the macro Mats cute will be activated because it's queued then. So you got the start timer button. This is Zuspieler 1 Beitrag Mats. Uh, it's a little bit uh, difficult, but I easily can explain you. At first, there will be executed another macro, the same macro as we got here. It's a Zuspieler 1 play, so the HyperDeck is played. I got this macro, so this will bring on my digital mixer the talents fader down and my clip fader up. Then the HyperDeck Studio Deck on my mixer will brought to preview. Then the program is waiting 10 milliseconds and perform a cut. So my HyperDeck will come on air. Now I'm activating and deactivating different groups. Um, that's it. So the clip will be played and on air. At the out point of the clip, which is just before the end point, this macro will be played. So it's Zuspieler end action. It's um, this. So as you know, it's 10 frames before the clip is really ending. So my um, digital mixer will fade in the talent, then wait 400 milliseconds. Then we'll um, again cut back to the source that was predefined or um, was brought to the preview while the clip was playing. And um, so it comes back to your talent or whatever you um, have selected. Then there is um, the clip end, and there the Zuspieler 1Q next clip is um, triggered. That means the program is waiting 100 milliseconds, then says stop to the hyperdeck, waits again 100 milliseconds, and then cues the next clip, which um, comes after the actual clip. This is the first clip now, so the second clip would be queued after the clip end has reached. 
So right here you could directly define what clip should be played. In this case I want clip 7 to be played. I queue this clip. It's queued, it's green. You can see the times. Uh, it's just taking nearly two seconds. And if I now press the start timer, this will automatically play it and then come back to what you see right now. Then the next clip is queued, as you can see, it's my counter 8. If I now press start timer, 8 will count down and then come back and my next clip will be queued. If I again want um, to play another clip, not the next clip, I can press stop, select another clip. In this case I want the counter with the 6 to come in. I queue this clip and play it and the 6 will come up and then come back. So the start timer button is not the only possibility to bring your player up to the air. You also could use an external switch that is connected with your DidiTech board. Um, I have, um, for example, my DidiTech input 9 as a trigger of the player. And um, I could also choose to use, um, for example, the preview of the HyperDeck Studio to play the clip. So I'm um, just showing you how this works. I cut this DDTEC input out of my trigger macro and I'm bringing in the ADEM switcher, the HyperDeck Studio Deck in the preview mode to be the trigger. I'm saving this line, it's automatically come down here. I'm starting the engine and then as you see my clip with the counter 7 is queued and if I'm now pressing HyperDeck Studio in preview this will automatically bring the clip on air and then come back to this window. So that's it.